You got New York pizza, you want a New York bagel. And I mean, if you're a bagel place, then you're gonna need some malt in your dough and you're gonna need a slightly different dough. But if you wanna make a great bagel, what I did was just rip out the uh, center and I just go like this till it's a bagel. These are also probably going to be very sizable bagels. Yeah, they're going to be. If you want smaller good. bagels, you're more than welcome to cut the dough in half. I would just make smaller dough balls, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so I got my one percent at twelve o'clock. Here's my two percent. So once again, here. So I get the dough, and I just kind of poke a hole through it till I get till I expose my finger. Try to get two fingers through it and go like this. Kind of like wheel over the other to stretch that hole out. That's, you know, you already know. <laughs> so, that's it, you want a nice hole in the middle. B minus 72 hour full ferment of the dough. It's gonna give nice flavors beyond something you make that day. So I rip my hole once again. So these are a little heavy for normal bagels. They'll just be big bagels. It's all right. It'll make a good sandwich. Yep. So there we go. So keep in mind, this is still one percent, two percent, and three percent. And then our control. And the control will be over here at nine o'clock. Yep. The control has. Malted flour, but no sugar in the recipe. Got my cameraman taking a bite of each one of the pizzas as I say the name of my plate with those. Alright, so once again, I got my 1%, 2%, 3% control. I'm gonna hold this that way. Partners gonna follow me. Best way to do this, I'm gonna get a timer. I'm gonna do 75 seconds, which is a minute and 15 seconds. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, you want anywhere from a minute to 90 seconds on each side. So. I'm gonna drop this, and whenever you drop something in hot oil or water, always go away from you. So it's in there, hit the timer. This is 75 seconds per side. Yep. Watching paint dry, fellas. Yep. Basically. You'll, so you'll see how the first one gets done. And we'll cut so when the rest of them are finished. Yeah, but basically how I'm doing this in terms of timing is I could have threw, like, if you have a batch of them, throw a batch of them and set the timer. But instead, right when this gets about three seconds, I'm just going to throw this in. I'm going to flip this one carefully. Start the timer again. Yeah. We'll catch back to you guys once this is all done. Alright, so I got the last one out. You want to strain a good bit of the water out. Don't go crazy. And this is a point, once they're all done boiling, that's where you hit them with whatever seasoning you want. So, I'm going to start with one in the farthest away from me. 
So once I spin it, it'll be the closest. 475. I set a timer for 10 minutes. We're gonna check on it so we can tell you where it's at. We'll come right back in a sec. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes with the bagels in the oven. You see they're starting to look good, but they're not done. Give it a spin. And now the 1% oil is the closest one to me. And I'm gonna set the timer for another five minutes and see where we're at from there. It's probably gonna take 20, 25 minutes though. It's pretty good. I think I should go another few minutes. It's up to you. Pretty good looking bagel. So, we're at the 15 minute mark of cooking them. Meat looks good. I think they're pretty good. Yeah, so 15 minutes is a pretty good number. If you want them darker, you can go longer. This is my 1%. I can actually go like this. And you can see the no sugar one didn't brown quite as much. It got like drastically darker as it progressed. Yep. You could tell that, that uh, no sugar really. Like the dough is still done, it's still cooked. Yeah. It's just the browning and caramelization isn't as much because there's not as much sugar. You could only caramelize the oil and the malt that's in the dough. There's all four of them side by side so you can see that. And that's how you make some artisan bagels. The very versatile New York pizza dough. So if you have a pizzeria and you got ovens like this, you can do a lot of things. All right, so the knife guy has our bread knife, so I'm using a chef's knife to cut this. It cuts nice. Open it up. That's our 1% oil. Well, that's a nice fucking bagel, if you ask me. Might be a weird way to cut a bagel, but we're showing you the crumb. So here's 2% oil. A little more of an open crumb, but definitely squishy and nice. 3% oil. A little denser. Yeah, a little denser. A little, a little nice though. Still a good bagel. And that's our no sugar. Still came out fantastic. Feels great. So, how to make a nice artisan bagel? Very simple.